Hey everybody, I am working on something Toy Story. And I figured I would do it with you all. Um, I was messing with my Cricut, but I didn't have it on the right cut setting. So it did not cut all the way through. Because I was working with vi vinyl, and I forgot to check my settings. Which if you have a cutting machine, you know that sometimes that happens to the best of us. So I am putting some happy mail in the mail to Crafty Kim. If you don't know who Crafty Kim is, I'm going to link her channel below. Um, when I did my Toy Story book, I had went live a couple of times and a bunch of us were all hanging out and she said how she was working on a mini album for Toy Story, but she had never finished it because she didn't have any more, I guess, ephemera or things like that. So I said, you know what? I can, I can cut them out for you because I have them all on my Cricut. So this is what I did. I cut out a really cute pile of cut aparts. And I thought to myself, I mean, how stinking cute are these? Right? I did that pile. Then there is a, another pile in here of all these really cool cut aparts, little ones. And then anything that basically was in my book, I just made a duplicate copy of. And I thought, huh, these fit in this envelope really nicely which I thought was cute. But a part of me wanted to make my own um, envelope. I'm looking for my scoreboard. Huh, where could it have gone? Can't go far. So in Cricut Design Space, I, I cut this out. And I'm thinking that I'm going to see if my measurements work. Yes, I didn't cut it too small. So, I know I'm going backwards, but trust me, I need to. I want to make sure that I am on that line. So when I designed this in design space, I made it so that I had half inch I'm basically making a pocket. I don't know how else to say it. I'm uh, well, this is what I'm thinking. Um does it mean that it's going to come out exactly, but I'm going to give it a whirl. Going to give it a whirl. I kind of piece pieces together within Design Space just to see if it would work. And we shall see. Now, this square is supposed to be, it can be six. by seven. So that's what I have to cut this out at. Six by seven. I could have let Cricut cut it out, but I just, I don't know, I wanted to do it myself. If my measurements line up correctly, this should automatically be a six by seven.
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some glue. Just cut those little corners off. Tell you this is that new um, bone folder I purchased not too long ago and I absolutely love it. I, I don't know if it's because it's the weight of it but all right so now I made this to fold over but I had a feeling after the fact it was going to be too big. Um, in design space that's what I kind of thought. So I was hoping that I could just I can actually trim that. That's no big deal. Let's see. This is called flying by the seat of your pants. I can go to that line go to right about there. Let's see where we're at. Kind of like the idea of the half circle being there, but I'm kind of liking that too. So I'm going to gently pick these up and they should fit do look at that um, and honestly this can be folded down how can I close that I want it to close Actually, that's so cute. I think I want to make another one for these. So how could you have one without another? This white envelope is just so blah. All right, I think I'm gonna have to do another one. Have a great day, and I will see you all real soon. Bye.